If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, dementia, or you have multiple risk factors or a strong family history of Alzheimer's disease, I'm gonna tell you about two things that you can try that have a little bit of research backing them up that could absolutely prevent Alzheimer's from developing, or if, it's, if you've already been diagnosed with it, it could actually decrease the severity of symptoms and decrease, decrease the speed of progression. So this is a big deal. And I don't know why more neurologists and experts in the field of Alzheimer's dementia are not discussing this. If you go to one of the, the Alzheimer's Association's website, there'll be big press releases about the latest drug, Adrenalhelm, but you won't find any press releases about the two things I'm gonna tell you about in this short video. So the first thing, that you should try if you're trying to prevent Alzheimer's dementia or slow down the progression of Alzheimer's dementia is a real whole foods, one ingredient ketogenic diet. There's actually several research studies uh, that have already shown promise of eating a, a ketogenic diet in both prevention of and slowing the progression of Alzheimer's dementia. Uh, you won't see press releases about that. For some reason, I'm not sure why that is. You might have a, an opinion about that. You can tell me in the comments below. But it makes perfect sense that uh, Alzheimer's disease is type three diabetes or diabetes of the brain. And so if your brain is no longer to able to efficiently use glucose as fuel, then why not try to fuel it with ketones and fatty acids? That's exactly what a ketogenic diet does. You, you're gonna eat a very low sugar diet on a keto diet, and it's gonna put you in a state, a physiologically normal state called ketosis, which many people with, with especially early Alzheimer's notice that the symptoms improve greatly when they adopt a and stick to a ketogenic diet. The second intervention that is, is free and easy to try is intermittent fasting. Again, you won't see press releases on the, the Alzheimer's Foundation website or the Alzheimer's Association website, even though there's several research studies that show, that either show that, that theoretically intermittent fasting should help prevent and slow progression, or that actually show the part of the mechanism of how intermittent fasting can uh, slow the, the onset of symptoms or slow the progression of symptoms should you already have the diagnosis. So I'm gonna list all the research down in the show notes below. And you may flip the tables on me and say, well, Dr. Barry, you may be giving false hope by recommending a ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. My answer to that would be, that's a valid point. But here's why I think it's okay to do that because I'm not recommending some new chemical that was just recently formulated in some factory somewhere, some chemical lab, and then made in a factory and then went put through a questionable FDA approval process and then, uh, you know, advertised millions of dollars worth of ad advertisements to push it towards people who are looking for hope. I'm talking about an ancestral way of eating, a, a, a diet rich in animal fats and animal proteins and very low in carbohydrates with regards to the ketogenic diet. And then I'm talking about intermittent fasting, something that every major religion has done since before recorded history and the human beings have done since we've been a species on this planet. These are not new fad things. These are not new molecules that were invented in a lab. The, these are just ways of eating and ways of not eating that have some research supporting them that they might prevent the onset of Alzheimer's dementia and they might uh, slow down the progression should you already have been diagnosed. Now, if you've used intermittent fasting or a ketogenic diet to do just what I'm talking about in this video, please, I beg of you, share your story in the comments below because you know, as a family member of somebody with Alzheimer's or somebody with Alzheimer's as a diagnosis, you're looking for hope. You're looking for something to try. You're eager to find something that might help fight the Alzheimer's epidemic and slow down the progression of this dastardly disease. So please share this video and share your story in the comments below. This is Dr. Berry. I'll see you next time.